Hello friends, welcome back. In the previous videos, we have discussed about the theory part regarding the chapter compaction of the soils. Now, coming to the problematic part in this chapter, uh, it is what mostly somewhat interrelated with the uh, index properties of the soils, like what are the relations we will use for dry density and uh, saturated weight density and uh, the relationships between water content, void ratio and degrees of saturation. So in this chapter the main focus is that you should know how to find the dry density and also you should know what are the standard values like what is the standard Proctor text, what is the modified Proctor text and also you have to use for different type depending upon the compaction in the field which type of equipment you have to use and also in the related is depending upon the type of the compaction you have to decide that whether you have to go for the wet of optimum or you have to go for the dry of optimum so in most of the times you might get the theoretical part regarding all this and also we can ask you about regarding the finding the relative compaction so if you remember there is nothing but a dry density achieved in the field to the maximum dry density that is achieved in the lab so our max they will confine to this area otherwise they will confine to ask the regarding the energy as we are using and uh, as we are compacting with some hammer and uh, we are using some energy so what is the energy that we are applying on the soil so if anything is coming out of the box so that maybe comes from the energy okay these are what the overall idea of the uh, chapter compaction of the soils okay now let us see uh, one problem regarding that now in this question if you see uh, say that uh, in this question you have to find out what is the maximum dry density that is possible and also you have to find out what is the optimum moisture content so how the graph will vary in general as you are increasing the water content your dry density is also increases until when after reaching some point the dry density again will start decreasing so you have to take at what point or the moist water content at which you are getting the maximum dry density now if you see in this question corresponding to the different water contents and the unit weights of the soil is also given so if you want to find out the optimum moisture content then first you have to find out out of these six possible cases you have to find out what is the maximum dry density so here what is given water content is given unit weight is given so based on these two is there any possibility that i can find out gamma d so gamma d is nothing but a gamma divided by one plus w so let me write it down here i am writing the gamma d values so 16.9 divided by 1 plus 0 0.062 so if you do that you are getting it is around 15.9 uh, for the 8.1 water content you are getting it is around 7.3 for the water content 9.8 you will get the value 18.4 and for the water content 11.5 you are getting 18.2 for 12.3 uh, you are getting this value is around uh, 18.17 so for the uh, dry density corresponding to the 9.8 the value will obtain as 17.6 for 11.5 you will get it is around 18.4 for 12.3 you will get around 18.2 for 13.2 you will get it is around 17.6 now if you observe these values dry density is increasing increased and increased but after reaching 18.4 it is started decreasing so at water content 11.5 you are getting the maximum dry density so corresponding to these values what is the optimum moisture content we can say it is 11.5 percent so what is the maximum dry density that is possible then 18.4 kilo newton per meter cube so this is what a simple question based on the laboratory textbook laboratory experiment Okay, in the next video, let us see a problem based on the energy. Thank you.